union. Every student comes up with whatever works for them, and it's got to work for them, otherwise education doesn't work. A new perspective on teaching. In this week's Leaders in Learning, CBS 2's Abigail Taylor shows us how a Treasure Valley teacher is putting learning into the hands of the students. I can spoon feed somebody stuff all day, and they can go through the instructions, but are they able to apply it? That's the question Caleb Wolford says he began to ask himself a few years into being a teacher, wondering if he was doing his students justice, standing in front of the classroom instructing, or if there was a way he could make a bigger impact, make them leaders of their own learning. A lot of other teachers, they might just like show you how it's done and then that's the way that you have to do it. But with Mr. Wolford, it's like you can be a lot more creative and free with your ideas and how you solve the problem. From the outside, it looks like any other classroom. But Mr. Wolford is unlike most teachers. He talks to everyone. He walks around. He communicates with all of his students while teaching. He doesn't assign work to take home. The only way students have homework is if they didn't finish in the time they were given during class. We have two days, so don't rush to this. We'll get, if we need some more time tomorrow, that's fine. Mr. Wolford gives basic instructions, but lets his students figure out most of it on their own. He gives extra help to the kids who need it and loosens the reins on the kids who don't. And that's kind of how teaching should be. Let those ones that are getting it kind of work themselves and kind of do the advanced stuff next and then work with the ones that need help because it lets them catch up because they don't see that they're behind, they see that they're, they're right there with everybody else. Sometimes the students don't get to the answer right away, but therein lies the purpose of the lesson. Now I can know that I can like find my own way and my own solutions to the problems. In Meridian, Abigail Taylor, CBS 2 News. All right, we are following a weather warn day here in the Treasure Valley and across the, the mountains in Idaho. We have several school closures that have been reported. Oh, yeah. We have a full list of those on our website if you want to check them out as they are being updated throughout the morning. But my goodness, you got to talk about how much snow <laughs> we saw in the mountains. Enough in the Sun Valley yeah. area that mm -hmm. uh, I called, I, I got up, I saw it yesterday morning and I was like, can I, gotta I, go. can yeah. I get up there and back in a single day? And you have the direct the line. Afternoon? You don't go to like the lift office. You no. go straight to Mr. Sun himself. <laughs> yes, Mr. exactly. Sun. Yeah. But I was told that very few of the lifts uh, were actually able to run because there was so much snow and they hadn't been able to go and do avalanche mitigation, all those sorts of things. Yeah. So there's still yeah, a lot of fresh a, snow I posted a time lapse there. of their mm -hmm. snow stake over the weekend and it got so high that it covered the snow camera. <laughs> yeah. They had to go out and dig it out, and but like, it was up to like 20 inches by the time they, they couldn't see the snow stake anymore. So 29 was yeah, it was a 24-hour total. Yeah, and uh, this morning there's uh, seven inches at Bogus, also mm -hmm. at Brundage, uh, several inches in the Long Valley. Snow's coming down.